Well, good day, everyone, and God's blessings to all of you. I pray this message finds you in good health and spirit. Our gospel passage today is from the second chapter of St. Mark's Gospel, verses 18 through 22. Now here, Christ is questioned as to why his disciples do not fast when others do. And Christ responds by stating, as long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. Now in this statement, Christ as the bridegroom is pointing to himself as being the Messiah in their presence. And there should be great joy as he has come to save them and all of mankind. But he's also foreshadowing his future passion. Now looking at our first reading today from the letter to the Hebrews, we have a discussion of Christ as our high priest and in the line of Melchizedek. Melchizedek is a figure we read about in the book of Genesis and was a high priest that encounters Abraham. So connecting Christ to Melchizedek is very important, but due to time limits here, I'll suggest that if you're looking to do a Bible study on your own to learn of this importance, you know, this is a good topic to study, and our scripture readings today are a good starting point. But all of our readings today are pointing to Christ, not just as our Messiah, but as our eternal high priest appointed and anointed by God the Father on our behalf for the forgiveness of our sins. You know, ordinary time is a liturgical season where we come to see Christ in sacred scriptures, not just as someone who preached good values and a way of life, but as someone we can truly come to know as the Son of God and our Savior. And through His Paschal mystery, we become heirs to the new and everlasting covenant. Now, there's a really good line in the gospel passage today I want to point out, and it's in verse 22. Here Christ states, New wine is only poured into new wineskins, and this is so that nothing is ever lost. So in the new covenant, we are the new wine created in our baptism, and the church, which is the body of Christ, is the wineskin. And Christ is our high priest acting through the church protects us from spoil and loss so that one day we can be that fine wine when we meet our Lord and Savior. Well, that's our reflection for today. Let us continue to pray for an end to this pandemic and to the vaccines being distributed so they can have a positive impact so we can return to our normal lives. Let us also pray for all our healthcare workers who are on the front lines in this pandemic. Let us pray for those who are in the hospitals because of this virus, that they may have a speedy recovery. Let us continue to pray for an end to violence and hate of all kind, and that we can be leaders in word and deed on how to truly be the light of Christ to all. Well, may Almighty God bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Amen.